Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Next week could be really, really big for VeChain, and we can tell, I can tell you why. I think some of you may have forgotten about the 15th. That is the VSwap 2.0 testnet. Now, I think VeChain 2.0 testnet, they're going to announce that as well, because I think VSwap 2.0 testnet will actually be on VeChain 2.0 testnet. It doesn't really make any sense why they would wait so long for VSwap, unless you factor in that the VeChain testnet also will actually take that long. Because if the VeChain testnet's not taking uh, that long, they could have done VSwap a long time ago. So outside of VSwap testnet, VeChain testnet 2.0 could actually, the POA could actually be next week. And that can definitely pump price. But the one thing I am looking for is DeFi. I think there is a good chance that they'll actually announce the first few DeFi projects, maybe for VeChain next week, along with the testnet for VSwap, because remember VSwap actually has implemented like Oracle, um, like Oracle pricing and all that other stuff that actually helps into the whole, um, basically a DeFi architecture for VET. So now they got Oracles, they got like atomic swaps and everything, they should be testing out uh, DeFi and that could really, really get things going. Of course, it's all on testnet, it's not on mainnet, but I think that will get people excited and when people get excited, they do actually FOMO. So one thing to look for is, you know, like how um, you have PancakeSwap, um, you have SushiSwap, you have Uniswap. I think VeChain will have a swap coin sooner or later too. For Cardano, it's liquid. I, we have V Exchange, so I'm not. So I wouldn't be surprised if sooner or later V Exchange has their own coin, or like you have like V Swap coin. So that's also something to look for in the next week or two, or maybe like in the next month, because that will actually launch, and I really want to buy into that. I would. I am really, really into buying stuff like Liquid, uh, whatever you know, Polka Swap. I think I might actually buy some SOR for that. If I have some spare money, but I'm also looking forward to the, you know, the VeChain coin, the VeChain swap coin, which I think will actually debut very, very soon. And that could actually spur on a lot of trading. I think many of these announcements will actually uh, come out the next two weeks because like just that one leak from, uh, you know, that VSwap 2.0 is actually coming out on the 15th. It can actually flow in all of those because they specifically said VSwap 2.0 was there to actually help DeFi with oracles and everything else. And of course, VSwap 2.0 wouldn't really make sense if they didn't actually use the POA 2.0. And Peter Zhao did actually say the POA 2.0 was coming and they had a major breakthrough. So there could be like three or four major announcements uh, that could actually be coming for VeChain. I don't know if they are and I don't know when they are. I don't have any informa inside information on VeChain. But these are definitely things that you should actually look forward to. And I think like even at this high price right now, Bitcoin just went over 60,000. I think VeChain can get over eight cents in the next week. So buying right now probably is a decent idea. Now, I would definitely still de say DCA in unless you really want to go all in um, and you don't have any doubts. That's fine. But the thing is, like, I would definitely advise people to be more careful uh, and actually to exercise caution when you're actually buying. I do think VeChain is a great product. And I do think uh, like the VTHO burden will definitely kick up with DeFi usage. And I think like Sunny Lou does need to do some marketing for VeChain at DeFi once that actually comes out. But I think it is very close and I think you can see the announcements within the next two weeks. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.